which it will be called. A fierce debate is playing out here at the International Trade Commission to decide the future of trade between the United States and Sub-Saharan Africa. South Africa's ambassador to the United States, Ibrahim Rasul, is employing fist-pounding tactics to prevent South Africa from being shut out of the African Growth and Opportunity Act as decision makers consider its renewal. I don't think that the United States should aspire to something that we want to see as a sunset when the United States has the ability to enter into a sunrise relationship with the African continent. Some argue that South Africa's economy is sufficiently developed to graduate from AGOA. What's the next generation? Do certain countries get graduated because of their size? They're also eyeing the EU's free trade deal with Africa, which, unlike AGOA, enables two-way tariff-free benefits. To give away the store and ask for nothing in return isn't the best trade policy. But there's also another specific challenge to South Africa, coming from a section of America's powerful agricultural lobby. U.S. chicken exporters say they've been denied entry to South Africa's poultry markets for 13 years. We think it's a very protectionist measure and we've been waiting for that to be resolved and it really hasn't been resolved successfully. So at this point in time, the only recourse we think we have is to uh, oppose uh, the extension of AGOA. South Africa's U.S. ambassador counters that using the extension of AGOA is inappropriate and excluding South Africa will damage Africa's integration efforts and American interests. Don't fight for these small interests, for chickens, for beef here, and for this product there, and for that product there. Fight for the big prize, which is an integrated continent that could eventually offer free access to many countries um, in the world, including the United States. And that, I think, is the, is, is the short-sightedness that we must prevent. The co-chair of the African Diplomats Working Group on AGOA, Mauritius Ambassador Somdus Saboran, is supporting the position. We are fighting an economic war. We are fighting a trade war. We have to be engaged into that. We have to have leaders. And precisely, South Africa is providing a leadership. The International Trade Commission is carrying out four investigations to inform the review process for AGOA. The renewal of AGOA this year will be voted on by members of Congress. But before then, we may face months of behind-closed-doors negotiations from competing trade interests as they press their case for the future shape of AGOA. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.